and it might seem like sometimes things got stolen from us but guess what we have more abundance that means there's more on the way I hope you heard that say there's more on the way Are you all right if I take a little time here? Because faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word. So I got several scriptures which are the word. And so we're going to go through them. And what would be the end result of going through some scriptures and hearing some preaching on them? Faith will come. And what will faith come for? Finances for the offering for the tithe, right? Isn't that a good thing? Yes. Because I don't know if you've realized this or not but you need some money in this earth you need to have your financial life moving in the right direction and if it's not well we need to figure out why and then we need to do something about it right that doesn't mean there isn't ups and downs we all know that there's ups and downs but there's ups see everybody goes oh there's downs but no there's ups hallelujah and i'm excited about it. so john 10 10 you can probably quote it but i want you to see it are you here yes let's pray Holy Ghost I thank you for your written word I thank you that you are speaking to us as the Living God through your written word right now and I receive it in Jesus name amen, amen. See, that's what you got to do when you read the word because the Holy Ghost got it to you and he wrote it and he's speaking to you so John chapter 10 and verse 10 the thief comes not but for two i wish he would tell us what he's going to come for oh he comes for to steal right yes. yeah the thief comes not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy well at least we know what his motivation is right he comes to kill steal and to steal kill and destroy i am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly so you might have abundance he wants more you understand yes. he comes so you might have life and have it more abundantly but the thief comes not but for to steal say to steal or well, what is stealing but taking something of value that you have right, right? Mm -hmm. and my point here is that there is a spirit of poverty now most of us would agree with that most of us you can just look out in the world and see it some countries are just rife with it there's a spirit of poverty is there not a spirit of poverty yeah, yeah there's a spirit and one of the things he does is he steals from people he steals whatever they have and what if if, if the devil came and stole everything you had what would that be you'd be poverty right it'd be poverty. there's a spirit of poverty that's right. that's really my point here are you getting this yes because I'm really not going to preach on the spirit of poverty. I just want you to, to know that there is one. Mm -hmm. And if there is one, do you want something to do with it? No. no, you want to be able to get rid of it. See, Jesus got rid of it. He said, I'm come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. Have it more abundantly than what? Than the spirit of poverty. You know that, that the devil stole out of Jesus' purse? Yes, he had a purse. That's what they called his bag. But the devil stole, and he still had enough. How was that because he had more than enough he had more abundance and it might seem like sometimes things got stolen from us but guess what we have more abundance that means there's more on the way I hope you heard that say there's more on the way, more, on the way. More, abundance more abundance is coming, is coming. To, me to me now, now. More. more am I preaching out of the Bible Deuteronomy chapter 28 you should know where that is you should know what's in there you got the blessing and the curse right Deuteronomy 28 well what would it be a spirit of poverty would obviously fall under the curse so we're gonna take the opposite of that which is the spirit of blessing or the blessing let's just read verse 2 lest I get caught up in all this stuff and all these blessings shall come on thee now that's the opposite of the spirit of poverty that comes on people all these blessings come on them all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee isn't that good yes. 
again the opposite of poverty if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God well in our day we know that the Lord our God is the Holy Ghost we're hearkening to his voice we're walking with him are you getting this yes. the blessing shall come on you now picture this uh, those words aren't there for no reason the blessing comes on you can you agree that the spirit of poverty would come on people and off, often you can see just look at them something's wrong they, they look like they're in poverty it's a spirit of poverty well guess what we we can break the power of that take authority over it and get rid of it isn't that great wouldn't that be cute if Jesus said in the gospel if he had a gospel that was applicable to the poor mm -hmm. what did he first thing he said I've come to preach the gospel to the poor mm -hmm. and deliverance and to set at liberty who the poor mm -hmm. what would that be spirit of poverty if you have the spirit of poverty on you you can have a, you would have a hard time being rich is this correct mm -hmm. But what if you have the spirit of blessing on you or these blessings look verse 2 all these blessings shall come on thee what does that mean that means it will be on you what does come on you mean it means it'll be on you say it's on me, it's on me. I'm gonna show you that it's on you but you gotta you acknowledge that it's on you I'm blessed look at this and all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God blessed shall you be in the city where would you be in this verse of scripture in the city right. what's on you in the city blessings, blessings. blessings. well we got to go to the city then if we're blessed in the city oh wait a let's read on blessed you'll be in the city oh blessed you'll be in the field mm -hmm. so we know two places where the blessings will be on you the blessing say the blessing. the blessing the opposite of a spirit of poverty is the spirit of blessing he's a spirit well he's the Holy Ghost but you're blessed you understand yes blessed in the city blessed in the field blessed shall be the fruit of your body the fruit of your ground those will be your kids right yeah. fruit of your body the fruit of your cattle and the increase of thy kind the flocks of thy sheep this is what most people had back in those days you understand for wealth blessed shall be thy basket and thy store we still have blessed we still have baskets in stores mm -hmm. don't you yes. what do you push around the store baskets with wheels in our day right but may, maybe they just had the handle baskets but they have those too what are you when you go in the store blessed what are you when you go around the store you're blessed does this make sense yes thou shalt be blessed when thou comest in why are you blessed when you come in where's the blessing must be in the doorpost no where's the blessing the blessing is on you the blessings on you say the blessings on me, the blessings on you. me. you see some people have the spirit of poverty and they're cursed when they come in they're cursed when they go out they're cursed with everything they do and they can't seem to get it straight but if you're blessed you're blessed in all of these things I hope I'm getting some of this across you're blessed when you come in you're blessed when you go out the Lord shall cause thine enemies that rise up against thee to be smitten before thy face why because you have a blessing on you they shall come out against you one way and flee before you seven ways and the Lord shall command the blessing upon thee in thy storehouses plural and in all that thou settest thine hand to do he shall bless thee in the land which the Lord your God gives you and the Lord shall establish you a holy people unto himself so the blessing comes on you you see this yes. so if the blessings on you you have all of these other things that happen yes. because the blessing is on you you don't always have to quote all the things you could but you don't have to you just I'm blessed when I come in when I go out when I sit down when I stand up in the basket in the store I'm blessed the blessing is on me say this the blessing, the blessing. is on me. on me so we saw that a curse there's a spirit of poverty it's spiritual there's a blessing that is spiritual did you see that in the blessing it's spiritual it comes on you it's an actual thing that comes on you it's called the blessing we know that poverty is a spiritual force that works against people kills steals and destroys right, right. well wealth is a spiritual force that comes out of and from the spirit and comes on you you call for it say wealth. Well, 
come to me and be on me you see and then by your faith these things rest on you and you are blessed what do you mean by faith we're gonna read that here in a second did you find Galatians yes. Galatians chapter 3 verse 13 Christ hath hath is past tense Christ hath redeemed us from the curse of the law what was the curse of the law we we saw some of that right mm -hmm. Deuteronomy 28 goes on to talk about the curse of the law being made a curse for us for it is written cursed is everyone that hangs on a tree so Christ or Jesus bore the curse of the law so that you wouldn't have to mm -hmm. right so any spirit of poverty that is on a child of God is illegally there right. now would the devil do something that's illegal would he hang out someplace he wasn't supposed to be yeah mm -hmm. that's the devil right it must be enforced if you don't enforce the law then people just run over it aren't you here mm -hmm. it's like a border without enforcement they just go across the border unless you enforce it Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law being made a curse for us for it is written cursed is everyone that hangs on a tree verse 14 that the blessing say the blessing. the blessing the blessing of Abraham might come on the Gentiles through Jesus Christ that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith so it comes through the Spirit and it comes by faith and the blessing is on you I hope you're getting this you're blessed by faith look at verse 9 so then they which be of faith do you be of faith yep that's how we walk with God by faith and by faith and saying they that be of faith are blessed with faithful Abraham you seeing that mm -hmm. so what's that blessing that's on you it's the same blessing that was on Abraham can you see that from this verse of Scripture yeah. now what did God do for Abraham did he protect him from his enemies yes. did he bless the children after him yes, yes. did he make him wealthy yes. Did he keep him healthy? Yes. Did he renew his youth? Yes. yes. So the same blessing. Say the same blessing. The same blessing. The same blessing. It's not a different blessing. According to your Bible, I'm not making this up. They which be of faith are blessed with. Blessed with means blessed at the same time. You understand? Blessed with Abraham. So your Abraham seed your heir according to the promise the blessing is yours Amen. don't let the devil take it from you so your Abraham seed your heir according to the promise the blessing is yours don't let the devil take it from Luke you chapter 4 verse 18 the Spirit of the Lord is next to me oh wait a minute no the Spirit of the Lord is upon me now remember the blessing comes on you you understand that's how you can come in and you go out. did Jesus come in and go out yeah he went into the synagogue and he he sat down and he stood up these are things the blessing is on him you understand the Spirit of the Lord is upon him because he the Spirit of the Lord has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor and so when Jesus preached the Spirit was on him would go and get on other people you understand that right yes. that's how preaching works that's God made it that way through the vehicle of anointed words they come out and they get on you say they come out, they come out. and they get on me get on. right that's why it's important that you hear the word based on prosperity of God because you don't want the words of poverty which is in a lot of the churches mm -hmm. to come out and get on people right. are you here yes. which is sad in in and of itself but the Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor what would be the gospel to the poor that they die real soon and be able to go to heaven where it's rich no the gospel to the poor would be they'd be delivered from the spirit of poverty and they would have the blessing of Abraham the same blessing come on them are you here yes. That's the gospel to the I've been preaching the gospel by the way it's the same gospel 
gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted. Would a poor man be brokenhearted over his poverty? Sure. And to preach deliverance to the captives. Is the poor man captive to the spirit of poverty? Yes. yes. The recovering of sight to the blind. He can't see his way out of poverty. This to set at liberty them that are bruised. To set at liberty. To say to set at liberty. To set at liberty. Does a does a poor man need to be set at liberty? Yes. yes. From what? From the spirit of poverty that was keeping him down. So he gets set free from that by the gospel, and then the spirit of the blessing comes on him. And we already saw what the blessing will do. Bless you coming in. Bless you going out. Is this any good? Yes. First Corinthians chapter two, one of my favorite books of the Bible, by the way. Just in case you were wondering I was just wondering that first Corinthians chapter 2 let's look at verse 12 now we should someday mm -hmm. nope now we have received past tense just like we have received the blessing we have received not the spirit of the world now what would the spirit of the world be that would be poverty that would be the devil remember who comes to do what but for to kill to steal to kill and destroy first thing he wants to do is steal we have not received the spirit of the world but the spirit which is of God what would that be that's the spirit of God yeah. right the spirit which is of God that we might know the things mm -hmm. that are freely given to us of God is the blessing a thing that is freely given to you of God yes yes say the blessing, the blessing. comes to me comes and, on me, and on, me on me by God, God. how's it come from it comes from God now we have received not the spirit of the world but we have received the spirit which is of God that we might know the things that are freely given to us of God and that would include the blessing are you getting any of this yes so you have received the Spirit of God that you might know the blessing mm -hmm. is that too far of a leap no. not the spirit of the world which is poverty but the spirit which is of God which leads to wealth we know that the blessing of Abraham is there go to Matthew chapter 16 but it's good faith comes by hearing yes. right you should be you should understand that the blessing is a thing that comes from God did I get that across the blessing is a thing just like the spirit of poverty is a thing a spirit the blessing is a thing that comes on you that comes from God and then is on you say it's on me, it's on me. well you acknowledge the things that are on you you understand I acknowledge that I am blessed when I come in when I go out I believe that's one of the reasons he said it all that way so that you could say it I'm blessed when I go in I'm blessed when I come out right I'm blessed going to the store is it a blessing to go to the store yes, yes. Matthew 16 and verse 19 and I will give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven now hang on here the kingdom of heaven what's that all about is that poor mm -hmm. is that poverty no that's that's abundance that's super abundance that's more than enough times many times I will give you the keys to the kingdom of heaven or the keys to abundance you could say or the keys to a blessing the keys the keys of heaven and whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven and whatsoever thou shalt loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven now yeah you understand that that's that seems a little awkward in the way that it's phrased because it seems like if I bind something on earth it will be bound in the kingdom of heaven is that the way it works no, no. So that which you bind on earth is that which is already bound in heaven. Do you understand? It's right. so like he said, pray thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So bind the things on earth that are already bound in heaven. Right. Is there a spirit of poverty in heaven? No. No. So that's the thing you bind on the earth. Say this. I bind, I bind. the spirit, the spirit. Of, poverty of poverty in Jesus name. Jesus name. This is the key to the kingdom of heaven. And whatsoever thou shalt loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven what are you gonna loose on earth that is already loosed in heaven 
you're gonna lose finances you're gonna lose abundance you're gonna lose uh, more abundance well but I already lose abundance uh, lose more abundance because that's what Jesus came to give you are you here yes. so we take authority over those things and we bind them and then we loose the things Jesus said this is part of the keys of the kingdom of heaven or the kingdom of God are you getting this yes. hold on hold, grab onto your your tithe of your offering right now I take authority in Jesus name over the spirit of poverty and I rebuke you in Jesus name I bind you take your hands off of our finances in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ ha ha and now I loose in the name of Jesus and by the authority of the Word of God in the kingdom of heaven and by the power of the Spirit of God I loose the kingdom of heavens finances I loose the blessing and blessings shall come on you and overtake you blessings of financial favor blessings of prosperity blessings of more abundance shall come and ministering spirits go forth and cause it to happen.